UFC 261 returns to BT Sport this weekend with three title fights aboard an incredibly packed card. None more so than the World Female Flyweight Championship bout featuring the one and only Valentina Shevchenko. I'm delighted to say joins us right now. How's your camp gone first and foremost? And, and what's, what are the strengths that she brings to the octagon? Uh, the training, my training camp going great. We did um, a preparation in Las Vegas and the UFC Performance Institute, also UFC Apex, and it was amazing. We were working like with all specialists in nutrition, in physical therapy, who was helping me to recover after the hard trainings. Also, all training uh, training partners in like Muay Thai gyms, Jiu Jitsu gyms, BJJ. So um, amazing, feeling strong feeling powerful the most important for this fight next saturday is just to bring the same power inside of the octagon absolutely the last defense of your title took place at the apex in las vegas against jennifer meyer that was at the back end of last year in november that was part of the pandemic lockdown of course behind closed doors you now return in Florida, thankfully, in front of fans. We get fans back again. And this will be the first UFC title fight in front of fans in 14 months. It must be incredible to, to be in that position. I know you must be looking forward to it. Definitely. It's something that um, very exciting. Yeah, finally to hear the scream of everyone, the roar, everyone, <laughs> and it's amazing, yeah, but, um, you know, kind of like, right now, I'm not thinking about it, i just thinking about my training camp, because it's like, um, the last week of their hard trainings, the last week of long sparrings, like five and more rounds, where you have to be very focused, not get injured, like, uh, be the same shape as you are, just to be very strong and like with uh, full power for the fight. That's why it's my, um, what I have in my mind right now, number one. But definitely I'm very excited for the fight night on Saturday. Just looking back to the night against, against Jennifer, obviously fighting in, without any fans. Was that the first time you've done that in your career, fought, competed inside an empty room and also did it make it hard for you to to lift yourself to motivate yourself to fight was it hard to get going without the screams you know for me it's not hard because uh, all my experience that i had during my martial art career it's like so different i had different fights different circumstances and i don't need to have something extra to motivate myself because um fight by itself it's already huge motivation uh, that we are able to fight during the pandemic that you see having like fights and like constantly doing all like Saturday nights and everyone can fight and see the, still see the fight even with closed doors it's already motiv motivation by itself that's why this is like doesn't matter what circumstances i very excited to fight and very motivated. You've been competing now for, sorry to make you feel old, for 18 years I worked it out that you've been competing at a very high level. Is this, is this Valentina Shevchenko at the peak? Is this you 100%? You know, have, you, have you hit the ceiling of how good you can be? Because you're so good. Is this as good as it gets? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be even better. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but what I can say, um, this age, what I am right now, it's like perfect combination of uh, being smart, being uh, have power what I have, having all the experience that I have. And it's like, I think this is like, yes, this is one of the best years because you are not so silly and you are know about everything about the fighting by itself but of course it's like um yeah i consider it somewhere somewhere closer to that that like perfect years <laughs> we've um recently saw amanda nunez take some time away from the sport to start a family 
uh, and to do other things. And I know your sister, I follow on social media, your sister recently got a pilot's, commercial pilot's license in Las Vegas, you know, different interests. But all I see from, from you, Valentina, is training, training, training. How, how do you love fight sports so much that it still consumes you now after 20 years? Um, after 28 years, right? Wow. <laughs> I started at five years old. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just like truly martial artists. I love everything about martial arts. It's for me as a person. And everything that I know, it's like thanks to martial arts. And this is, um, this is who I am. This is what I represent. It's like martial arts. Doesn't matter what I do. I will be training all the time. I will be like uh, thinking about martial arts, but in the not in the like dumb way, like when you are going to the um, uh, somewhere at any like party or, or something, and you what what everything what you are speaking it's just martial arts. No, it's like it's deeper. It's um, it's way deeper than it. And just like even um, when we are meeting with some friends. And we just cook, we are preparing food, we are speaking about different topics, but uh, it's still your martial artist. You represent martial arts. You don't have to talk about martial art uh, all the time to be truly martial artist. And this is what I call um, love for martial arts. Obviously, you compete next defense your belt again against Jessica Andrade, very different from, from recent opponents. She is the former stry, strawweight champion, returning up to flyweight. A lot of people would say that she's got nothing to lose. There's a lot of pressure on you to win and to win well once again and perform. Are you starting to feel the pressure now as a, an elite level champion, somebody that a lot of people are saying you're, you're the most technical fighter we've ever seen in women's MMA? Mm, right now, like uh, we are here in Florida, no pressure yet. I don't feel it because it's like sunny, beautiful weather, ocean by like uh, very, very close. But all pressure, what all nervous, what I'm going to feel, it's definitely fight week. But um, for me, the most important doesn't matter what pressure they want to put on me. For me, the most important is the victory. I'm not going to like, um, because I'm not going to do some crazy things only because someone wants it. I know very good what I have to do to win the fight and what I have to use. And I have everything to, uh, like, to show good fight, good skills, and I will do it in the fight. So no way I'm going to lose that belt. No way. Valentina, you've obviously had a real dominant run in the flyweight division. You know, the big question, of course, is will we see you move up to bantamweight to potentially go for that third fight with Amanda Nunes? Will you, do you need that really to add to your legacy? Or are you quite happily to stay in this flyweight division? Yes, um, there is only one reason why I could move up. It's the fight against uh, Amanda. And this is only why I see me going up. But right now, I'm very focused on flyweight because um, going up weight class, it means uh, you have to gain more weight. And it's hard like to go be, uh, ha, like up and down again, up and down. So I prefer to do everything in here and then thinking about going somewhere higher. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, listen, enjoy the final week of your preparation. Enjoy Florida. You've already got a smile on your face. I know when you've got a smile on your face and you enter that octagon, usually we see something a little bit special. So best of luck in this final week. And also, I need to ask you, uh, obviously, you made the Bruised movie with Halle Berry, Halle Berry. That's coming to Netflix, I think, in the next few weeks' time. What was it like being on a movie set? And was it, you know, is that something you, we may see more of you in the future? I definitely would like to have more experience like that because um, I really enjoy to work with Halle Berry. She's so amazing in 
every way. She's amazing in acting. She's amazing in direction. She's amazing in every what you can uh, 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 you can think about, right? And um, uh, I finished University of Arts, and my profession is film director, University of Arts in Kyrgyzstan. So um, for me, it was every every. Every time it was very um, like martial arts and arts going next to each other, like hand by hand. And definitely I would like to do more. I hope it's going to be like um, a big step towards that way in the movie business. And I would like to continue like to do both same fighting and acting. <laughs> Excellent. You can tune in and watch Valentina Shevchenko defend her UFC flyweight title against Jessica Andrade on BT Sports on Saturday night.